As an unapologetic Libra, I can tell you that what they say is true. Having a lot of choices isn't always a good thing. So when I wanted to learn to appreciate a good cigar, I was lucky to have a friend like Robert Sese, cigar master at the Davidoff Cigar Lounge, to help guide me. Because sometimes, learning to appreciate the finer things in life takes more than just curiosity. Nicaraguan tobacco has just like exploded. Oh yeah. So you see, like a lot of people, you know, Cuban cigars are like the holy grail of the cigar. But mm -hmm. like I don't know, I would I would put some of the Nicaraguans I've had like right definitely. up there. Definitely, I, I would definitely agree with you on that. And again. A cigar isn't just about smoking; it's about the whole experience, and it's about the camaraderie that goes along with it. I'll probably never remember every cigar I've ever smoked, but you know, when it comes to the best ones, I always remember where I was and who I was with. So what advice will you give to someone coming in for the first time? Well, the first thing I'll ask them is, uh, how much time do you have to smoke? And uh, they'll tell me, well, you know, I got half an hour. Okay, so I'll make a recommendation on a half an hour smoke cigar, which is generally a, a Robusto or maybe a, a Corona size cigar. And then start them off with something light and something of good quality, of course. Smoking a cigar is not like smoking a cigarette, where that nicotine is driving your body to, to want it, whereas you choose to smoke the cigar. I really call it a commitment to relaxation. Right. For me, I'm always super busy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really hard to just, for me to just stop mm -hmm. and, and, and put everything down and not think about anything, but when I pick up a cigar, I'm really committing to that time that I'm gonna spend with it, and it's very relaxing. Definitely. If you're just getting into cigars, I've got good news for you. There's a wealth of knowledge and experience out there, and all you've got to do to learn a little bit is to start a conversation.